What a special moment for Gabriel the Cheetah. I took him on a game reserve walk for the very first time. It's all thanks to Running Wild Conservation, who cares for him while I'm away. It started with a conversation about enrichment ideas for Gabriel. Running Wild Conservation had been doing some enrichment encounters with Gabriel. It was very nice. Staff asked if he'd ever been harness walked before. <laughs> Gabe's looking out in the field there, the savannah. I said yeah about nine years ago, but we struggled with the harness. Let's go, bud. Let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. And I said, well, why do you put him on a harness before? Ah. I, I watched him as a cub. He didn't really like the, the harness. He would fight and he would growl and he would struggle to get it on and he couldn't get it on because he was growling and struggling and stuff. <laughs> so, so I, I didn't want to, I guess I didn't want to upset him. So that's the main reason. It was putting on the harness he didn't like, not the walks. Grabby. Come see me. Hey, come see me. <laughs> come see me. Grab my chew on my, my pants. Oh, oh, look oh out. sorry, okay. sorry, it was your tail. Yeah. That was me. Very good. You know, Gabby. You know. <laughs> it's nearly done. So introducing and gently strapping on the harness was the key. Do credit to Running Wild Conservation for putting in the effort and testing the harness for Gabriel. <laughs> they discover Gabriel was okay with the harness and loved the walks. Long ago, about when Gabriel's just a cub, eight months old, ten months old, they, the previ previous owner uh, harness trained him, but he hadn't been harness trained in nine years, and Running Wild Conservation did some great work in um, reintroducing the harness to him. It's an important tool for the safety of the animals and the people uh, to be able to harness train them to move these animals safely and efficiently from one place to the other, and give them uh, um, enrichment. Hey, buddy. What I got for you? There we go. Let's go for a walkies, huh? Go for a walkies. This is really nice for Gabriel. I have to watch him because he, he like I mentioned before, he, he does fight with other males. So you see his tail's down, his ears are back. He likes going for walks, but he's also uh, willing to fight. So who is that? Is that Skylar? Skylar. Oh, I got to go. So this, is, this is Archie Main. Here's our first uh, trouble. <laughs> Before reaching the reserve, we had a gauntlet of male cheetahs we had to pass, none of which Gabriel likes. He's pretty strong. Uh, there you go. It's okay, Gabriel. It's okay, buddy. Okay. So let's kind of walk in the middle. <laughs> See if uh, I wouldn't harness Gabriel. It would be very hard to move him, and they would probably injure themselves. So I'm a favor of harnessing. But it should be done early in their lives, when they're cubs. That way they get used to it. <laughs> Gable remembers, he's been on a harness before, but it's been nine years. Good boy, Gabriel. Yeah, go this way. Since Gabriel's harness training wasn't reinforced all of his life, I couldn't allow him to walk freely in the reserve. Maybe that's my next goal. Abby and her first litter of cubs, Kimmy and Kaiser, started harness training and walks in the reserve early and has been reinforced. They're now harnessed only for their safety. That means to and from their enclosures and when we don't want them hunting. They quickly learn to follow us to and from the reserve. What a super enrichment for Gabriel. This is nice. As for Gabriel, I basically let him lead while I followed. In the shade, buddy. Hi, in the shade. We're in the shade. Okay. Yeah, buddy. There we go. Let Gabriel enjoy his uh, walk here. There you go. So I guess that's Gabriel's view. Really nice, isn't it? This is where they hunt. We took uh, Kimmy Kaiser to hunt here. I'm just really pleased that I can uh, enrich Gabriel's life another way. Oh, he sees a, he sees a zebra. Look at that. 
I'm gonna chase after it, buddy. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm gonna chase after it. I don't know, Gabriel's instincts, you can't really uh, deny. What do you think, buddy? Let's see, that's your favorite food. Look at that. Your favorite food. Zebra. Yeah, I don't know. Let me see. Look, oh, look at that. He's got some stalking behavior going on. Let me make sure I have my grip tight. Look at that. I was amazed. Gabriel has shown no interest in hunting anything. What is that, Gabe? What do you think, buddy? A walk in a reserve with wild prey triggered Gabriel's instincts. So zebra's moving off down the hill. Gabriel stopped and uh, did a half stalk. I'm, I'm impressed. I said, Gabriel has never hunted anything before. Never killed anything before. Um, and the main reason is his back. Um, and you see a little notch there sticking up. One of his vertebrae is uh, um, twisted in the opposite direction, 180 degrees when it grew. So he's going after the zebra. No, okay, we can't chase after zebra, buddy. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Gabriel, no, no. Gabriel, no. Oh, look at that. No kidding. He would. I think he would chase after them. Instincts are just pure. Oh boy, I'm just super pleased about me the, with running walk conservation, uh, reintroducing him to um, lead walking. Um, there's folks that say, you know, I don't lead walk. It's don't you know, leash uh, like a pet. No, it's just, this is a, this is an enrichment. You know, you gotta you gotta define your 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 efforts, right? And this is this is not a pet thing. This is a enrichment, and it, to be safely done, you have to. Had to harness some. Uh, Kimmy and Kaiser can be let loose. Uh, but Gabriel, no, Gabriel can't. There you go. What's those zebra boys again? Gabriel is a non releasable captive cheetah. It's due to his abnormal spine, his smaller stature, and his tail. Combine that with never hunting before, never been trained, and that's why. Gabriel runs. He has, uh, you know, he has mobility, complete mobility, no pain. I've seen him run. He runs after fights the cheetahs, but uh, I just don't want him. He's gonna to catch a prey animal. You have to go full out, and I'm just so afraid. He's also smaller. His tail's small. Uh, I just don't. I just don't want getting in, injured. Really rewarding for uh, Gabriel. Me too. So it's, it's, like I say, when, I, when Gabriel's happy, I'm happy. <laughs> That's enough. We started our trek back, and Gabriel found a tree to sign his name and mark his territory. All right, so we're uh, taking Gabriel to the horse stables here. I'm just buying time. Um, we're moving some of the cheetahs uh, in Gabriel's old camp into a new one. I put Gabriel back in his old one, so I'm just buying time. I don't want him seeing him. It's hard to be. He's got to want to fight. I know he's thirsty. We've been out for about an hour. <laughs> you think, buddy? What's in there? Let's go in there, buddy. Horse. What's in this? Yeah, it's okay. Let's go in there. Some squirrel tripping. Try on squirrels with me. What do you think about that, buddy? Yeah. It's for horses. That's oh, is. They're gone. Long gone. Oh, we can't go in there. Somebody, somebody lives there, buddy. You would scare the hell out of him. What a wonderful day for Gabriel. Look how content he looks. I need to see if he can be trained to walk off lead in this reserve. More walks for you, huh? Nobody. The problem is getting him back. He's not allowed to be released on this reserve. And he wouldn't survive. Follow. 